Nobody gonna love me better I'm gonna stick with you forever Nobody gonna take me higher Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel It's Glennie's here Hope everybody is doing well Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I finessed these crochet singles so if you like what you see and you want to see how i accomplished this look it's pretty easy go ahead and keep on watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button comment like and share the video so before we get started guys i know you guys are looking like girl where's your locks so yeah I cut them. I did another big chop. I had to due to the postpartum shedding. So I'll do another video on that in the future. <laughs> but anyway, before I get started with my installation, I've already washed and moisturized, conditioned my hair. So now I'm just basically blow drying it to, you know, make it more soft and manageable yes i'm below drying my teeny mini afro to make it more manageable i see it's a pretty easy process i'm not gonna talk and ramble throughout this whole video but I'm just making sections throughout my head. Um, I want them kind of large because I have a sensitive scalp and I can't be doing all that tension. So yes, honey, I grabbed them strands. I grabbed them after that afro and got together some little braids, okay? Talk about hands. So you're just gonna, um, Create box braids or whatever type of parting that you want. You can do triangles, boxes, small, large, whatever you so choose. So you're just gonna do this all over your head, and after that, you're going to attach your crochet braids to each individual one. I will be doing another video very soon on the reason why I cut my locks, my plans for my hair, and things like that. So stay tuned for that. I'm not trying to be super like... I don't know because I you know the parts are not that straight and like I said I'm not trying to do it too tight because for some reason this is actually the first braids that I've had in a long time I've been working on the condition of my scalp in a previous video I talked about how I um, thought I was suffering with folliculitis um, and I was using a certain shampoo and a regimen to help with that because every time I would do my hair in a protective style, I would get scabs in my hair. My scalp would get really irritated and I just couldn't take it. So this is actually going to be my first run doing a protective style such as braids or anything like that. So hopefully everything will be fine. But yeah, I do not do tight braids. I just can't. I can't do that no more. Exactly 
I hope everyone has been doing well. Um, happy New Year. A new year. A new chance to get it right. And to be more, more goal-oriented. And, you know, handle business and just be that one. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Um, I have a lot more new things coming to the channel. A lot more videos and different type of content that I am doing keep my consistency y'all i'm trying to do this um but yeah i would like everybody to go ahead and follow me on ig at i can only be g um that's my personal page and if you're interested in my business which is called the glow keys follow me at the glow keys on ig as well and check out my website at www.theglowkeys.com um, i do have a natural beauty and skincare line called the glow keys and we specialize in body butters lotions body scrubs body oils soaps all that relaxation goodness have your skin soft as ever but yeah check us out so now i'm going to be attaching these crochet braids they are like a jumbo braid and they're very long i'm doing a black one b with an ombre brown color so i thought that'd be really cute um, I will link the braids down in the description, but I did just purchase these from my local beauty supply. So in this part, I'm going to show you how I attach the braids. Hopefully you guys can get it and understand, but first you just insert the crochet needle through. And you're going to take your braid and attach it to the needle, close that, pull it through. And then I used the, the needle, which is actually easier, put the needle back through the loop, grab the end of the braid, and then you're going to pull everything through the loop, including your little braid, your natural hair. You're going to pull that through the loop as well. You can see my hair sticking out right there. I'm going to put that through that loop. Now after you do this, you're going to take your natural hair and you're going to use your crochet needle to put your hair and weave, kind of weave it through the braid on the back side. So you're going to insert the needle on the back side of the braid and you're going to grab your natural hair, close that needle, and then pull it through the braid so that it's not showing. So you could do this if you had longer hair. It would just take much longer, but um, of course it's much easier on this tiny afro. Take it personal, but I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding. It does take a little bit to get used to, so you might have to, you know, have a couple tries at it. Finesse. Finesse. You got the nerve to be on me. Of course, I didn't begin this method, but it's much faster than, you know, attaching braids or doing singles yourself. Even though I probably could do them quickly because they're larger, but this way it's just super fast. So here we go. We're going to do that again. Now I'm just pulling the braid through the loop. 
along with my natural hair and then you tighten it and then you're going to take your crochet needle along the back side of that or underside of the braid and then you're going to weave your crochet needle through and pull your natural hair through that braid once you get the hang of it you'll be floating right through and I finished this style in about an hour and a half maybe two like with everything I did with including washing and all that stuff so yeah it's super fast and easy give it a try girl give it a try so now I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna let you vibe through this and watch as I attach these braids comment down below if you would try this look or if you've already tried this look comment down below if you've tried this look and it was easy and some of you would try again let me know down below guys Also, if you have any questions about anything having to do with this look or the hair or anything, comment down below and I will get back with you. I'm happy to answer any questions and just interact with you guys. So, yeah. Don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be and live my life. Hey. Taking just a day and live my life. Don't take it personal. We just building. Make a name for generations, please, and make a, and take a break or a little vacation and chasing blues away. Hey, hey. You always posting a pictures, trying to look like you're winning or look like you always be working, soaking the moments you live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Check. 
So here it is you guys the finished look i'm just showing you guys a few little simple styles that you can do it's just like having singles so it's very versatile a great protective style that lasts you know it lasts a little bit so if you like the video go ahead and hit that like button smash the subscribe button and comment down below let me hear from you guys also share the video until next time you guys peace out meditating taking time away you always posting up pictures trying to look like you winning i'm writing rhymes in the kitchen soaking in moments we live in yeah you got the nerve to be on me faking your life for the hug if you got my number don't add me cuz baby Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be and live my life. Hey. Taking just to be and live my life. Don't take it personal. We just build. Foundation.